I'm settling down. My text go to screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming home. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Horn? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, who is this? Joey Lupo, Daily Rag. I'm calling to see if you have any comments on the allegations. Oh lord, here we go. Lenny out here talking crap. The allegations? Regarding the tumultuous workplace environment that... I'm going to stop you right there, Joey. I have no comment on the situation at this time. Thanks. This doesn't sound good. Better check and see if any of this has made it to the media yet. Here's an organization that's supposed to be world class, right? An NBA team. We had to pay for our coffee. We had to pay for our parking. They kept the pins locked in a closet that only Gabe's assistant had the keys to. One time they even yelled at us for, I swear this is true, going through toilet paper too fast. I mean, what kind of an organization is, is this, Jessica? Hello, Tex. Now, just what in carnation does this lily liver doofus think he's doing? What in tarnation? What I say? You said what in carnation? I plum don't know what I'm saying, I suppose. I'm madder than a bee in a bell jar. I'll tell you this, though. I can't for the life of me understand what Mr. Ayers thinks he's accomplishing with this exceedingly childlike temper tantrum, but I can assure you, Gabe, that I'm 100% behind you, and we're going to nip this thing in the bud together. I appreciate that, Tex. I'm just starting to wrap my head around this whole thing myself. I'm sort of in shock, to be honest. You and me both, son. I'll be in touch in a Texas minute. Another call? When it rains, it pours. Andrew, how are you? Oh, is it me you're worried about? That's so sweet of you, Gabe. I really am touched at your concern for my well-being while you're going through such a deeply terrible crisis. I don't know if I'd call it that. That's interesting. You might not even realize where you stand. I forgot this might happen. Well, here's the deal. Even though you figured out Lenny was selling you up the river, the problem is you're already beyond hope. I've got everything I need. The damage is done. Sayonara. Cue the fat lady. See you at the crossroads, Gabe. Who am I to spoil your illusions? Sure, Andrew. We're done. Gee willikers. I sure hope we can recover. I hope so too, and I mean that. Just because I'm using you as a stepping stone to achieve my dreams doesn't mean I don't want the best for you. It's just that I want the very best for myself too, even more than I want it for you. Congratulations, Andrew. You really got me. Hats off to you, champ. All this dirtbag. Glad to hear you say that, buddy. You're the first in a long line of people who are about to congratulate me for stepping out of my father's shadow and stringing together a whole bucket full of W's. I can't stand Andrew Sanderson, dude. Alright, so the Pittsburgh Force have the number 5 pick in the lottery right now. We have the number 4 pick, and uh, let's skip it. And of course we drop back to 5, and Pittsburgh moves up into number 2, of course. That's just my luck. But I'm going to try and trade for... I'm going to try and trade for that uh, number 2 pick. Staff signing. Um, I think we're good on that for right now. Combine, don't need to worry about that. Expansion draft, let's do this. We're all scouting the Combine. I don't care about all of this. We've been through this. We know who the guys that we're looking at are. Oh my, that's about to give me a freaking seizure. About to make me sick. Skipping all through that. Expansion draft. Oh, come on, let me get to it already. I don't care about Michael Porter Jr. I'm not going to draft him. He's a nobody to me. I can't stay in Missouri. Press conference. Andrew Gabe. Hi, Howie. There have been a couple of rumors lately about an intense personal rivalry budding between the two of you. Care to comment on any of those rumors? Um, I think you know the answer to that, Howie. Interesting question. As you can see by that tepid response, Gabe here is getting a little shy in his old age, but I'm not afraid to say that. Yeah, of course there's a rivalry. It's a shame that Gabe has lost a step or two. I don't like showing up someone when they're at less than full strength. In your response to Andrew's comment, I'm going to keep it classy. He's just messing around, Howie. You know how that goes. We've got a rivalry like any two colleagues in a competitive field might, but it's nothing more than that. 
And maybe he's a little nervous too. You need to get a few of these under your belt before you start feeling comfortable and able to put your best foot forward. The press laughs. I'm comfortable enough to show you who's boss. I can tell you that right now. Okay, Andrew. I appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Enlightening as always. Thanks for bringing some maturity to the conversation, Gabe. Always a pleasure talking with you. Likewise, Howie, and thanks for the compliment. I try my best to have a good relationship with you guys. I think it's really important for our fans that we have an open and honest line of communication with the press. All right, well, here is our um, expansion draft results. We've got Kyle Consworth, Sean Kilpatrick, Evan Turner, Matthew Della Vadova, Frank Jackson, Terrence Ross, Sam Decker, Troy Daniels, Jonas Urekbo, Al Jefferson, Jakob Pertl, Dwight Howard, Josh Hart, Jordan Bell. All right, so we're going to try and get the two pick from the Pittsburgh Force real quick. I can't get it from the Grizzlies because they're supposedly not allowed to trade two first round or first round picks two years in a row. A first round pick two years in a row. So I'm going to try and get this pick from the Force real fast. Um, where are they? So we're going to go ahead and trade our number five pick and we'll trade a first round pick unprotected. Okay, they don't want that. And we'll do one in. We'll get some second round picks. Come on, guys. You know you want this. There we go. Okay, so we got the number two pick. And I'm going to. Honestly, I'm going to try and work and get the number three pick as well. All right, so I'm going to trade a first round unprotected for unprotected for next year, Jakob Pertl, and a crap ton of second round picks. Also going to put um, Terrence Ross in this pit in this uh, deal. I don't really, I'm not, I don't need Terrence Ross. He's not a necessity for me. Um, I mean, a few years ago, I would have kept him, but he's just, he's not as good as he was. All right. Uh, so there, as you can see, we got the two pick. I'm going to try and trade that off. Um, let's see. The Grizzlies took Wendell Carter with the one pick. Okay. Makes sense. That's fine with me. That is totally fine with me. All right, we're on the clock with our two pick. We traded our five pick to the Pittsburgh Force. Pick DeAndre because I need some size down low. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Dwight Howard. Um, his contract's a little too big for my britches, and I'm not interested in keeping a guy that is terrible in the locker room. Gonna try and move this three pick, see if we can get anything out of it. Um, let's see here. Anything good? Oh, yes, let's do this. Without a shadow of a doubt. Are you kidding me? Yes, we're definitely doing that. Dwight Howard and the three pick for Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabonis. I think that's a no brainer. We got Victor, who's young. DeMontes is young. And there we go, baby. All right, so we got DeAndre at the five, Sabonis at the four, or even Jordan Bell at the four. And then we got our two in um, Victor Oladipo. I can dig it. We're going to be good. We're going to be young, but we're going to be good. Who's Brooke Carr, by the way? I don't I don't know who that is. Who is Brooke Carr from Mississippi? Never heard of him. Is he a real player? Uh, I got to talk to Chaz about making these reports a bit more concise. I need a break. Maybe some sports entertainment will do. The TV comes to life, it says. Reports out of Cleveland this morning confirm that LeBron James has declined his $35 million player option for the 2018-19 season. Yeah, 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 okay. Same story, same story. I'm going to go out and try and get LeBron again. But I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm going to take Texas hat, but I'm actually going to give it to LeBron this time. Last time, I was just more focused on actually getting LeBron. I thought he was going to be like, oh, who wants a stupid hat? Why would I sign on with you? All you have to offer me is a hat. Let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and sign DeAndre. 
and Daryl wanted us to draft him, so there you go, Daryl. Don't say I didn't do anything for you, you piece of trash. Gonna decline all those options. LeBron is in free agency, 35 mil. I would get, or I would get Durant, but every time I try to do something on this game, like I've done some rebuilds and stuff, he always signs back with the Warriors. So, you see the news gate? Looks like we got ourselves a big old fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about LeBron. Yeah, we know. We know, Tex. That's exactly who you're referring to. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. Give me your hat. If you want me to get LeBron, I'm going to need something from you. Anything at all, son. You just let me know, and I'll make sure you got exactly whatever it is you require. I need your hat. Pardon? Your hat, Tex. Give me your hat. Now you wait just one minute here, Gabe. What in carnation? Tarnation, Tex. What in tarnation? What'd I say? You said incarnation. I said no such thing, but that's besides the point. What's my hat got to do with LeBron James? I want to give it to him. For what? I want to show him that we're willing to do whatever it takes to get him on board. I want to show him that we're 100% committed to him, his vision, and doing whatever it takes to build a championship contender. Most importantly, I want to show him that we're united. Give me your hat, Tex, and I'll show LeBron that we mean business. One of your goofier schemes, Gabe. Now fork it over. I suppose it can't do no harm. All right, partner, let's do it. Yeehaw! What is he looking at? Oh my god. And what's up with his nostrils? Don't make fun of me now. It ain't right to make fun of a man whose hat you just borrowed. It's an unwritten rule of Texas, the one we take mighty serious. All right, Tex. Well, you, your hair doesn't look that bad for having a hat on all the time. Looks mighty fine. Who's making fun? It's just an infectious way of speaking is all. In all seriousness, though, thanks for letting me borrow that hat. Think nothing of it. In between you and me, I got something like 20 of these sitting at home. Don't sell it on eBay, you heard? We've had enough scandal for one offseason. I promise you, no other man will touch this hat for LeBron James. Plus one boldness. Out to dinner with LeBron. Let's get it done. All right, Gabe, you've got my undefined attention. Pitch me on the panic. Why should I bring my talents to Los Santos? Finally, someone calls it Los Santos. Because I'll give you this sweet hat. Oh, no. Go on, take it. Oh, no. I, uh, okay. Let me explain what the hat means. I think that's probably a good idea. Are you familiar with our owner, LeBron, Tex Towers? Funny dude with the crazy sayings? <laughs> that would be him. And what you've got in your hands is his hat. I took it right off his head so I could give it to you. It's not just a hat to him, LeBron. He's told me stories about it. It's his favorite one. It says it's lucky. Is that right? I hope LeBron doesn't find out that he has 20 of these. As a matter of fact, it is. He says he was wearing it when he celebrated making his first million. Huh. Well, this is going nowhere. It's just a goofy hat, I'll give you that, but what it symbolizes is much more important than what it is. We're in total alignment from top to bottom in our organization. We all pull in the same direction, and that starts with Tex and trickles on down to everyone in our building. Every single one of us, from Tex to the ball boys, are committed to making your run here a success. We're committed to you, LeBron, and to making your vision for yourself come true. That's what this hat represents, and I want you to remember that when you meet with other teams, they might be able to offer you the max, they might be able to offer you star running mates, but I can guarantee this, none of them are aligned in their vision from top to bottom as we are. It does have a certain charm to it, doesn't it? I think so. So I can keep it? Of course, look, even if you don't sign with us, I want you to know how much we appreciate you taking the time to meet with an upstart like us. Well, look, I've got to get going, but I appreciate you sharing your vision with me. And make sure you thank Tex for the hat. I'll keep you guys in mind, all right? Oh, thank goodness that didn't bomb like I thought it was going to. All right, let's see. Let's meet with LeBron. Hope we have enough money. I didn't think about that. No, let's get straight down to business. I don't care about all of that. Four-year, 150. Oh boy, I gotta make some room. We need to make $20 million worth of room? Oh my goodness. That's okay, LeBron. I'll get you your money, man. I'll get you that bag of money. I'll get you those stacks. Don't you worry, buddy. I know you don't have enough money as is. 
So I'm going to get you what you need, man. All right, definitely not getting rid of all Oladipo or the guys we just traded for. Um, God, Matthew Delvadova has a nine million. Evan Turner has a seventeen million dollar contract. Why? Um, uh, let's see, who can we get rid of? Are there any draft picks that we could possibly get? Um. Jerry and Green. I like Jerry and Green. Let's go with him. And he's only got a million dollar contract. So, all right. So we traded him, and plus we just gave a ton of money to the Sonics, which is what they freaking deserve. Dirtbag Andrew Sanderson. God, what a piece of crap. I can't believe I decided to be nice to this guy, and he's still the exact same. He's still a shithead to me. All right, LeBron. Let's get let's get down to business. There you go. I'll give you a no trade clause. Even though I don't want to, I'll give you a no trade clause. Thanks for the offer. I'll take it into consideration. Yeah, you do that, LeBron. Sign on with the Los Santos panic, please. Hey! I'm going to hold on to your rec bow. I like him. All right. Looking good, looking good, looking good. All right, team facility parking lot. How you feeling, Gabe? Oh, here we go. I'm fine, thanks. You still good with our bet? Why wouldn't I be? Well, I could understand if you didn't want to make a fool of yourself. You've already had enough of that for one season. Besides, now when you lose, you'll be also you'll also be losing the All-Star game. That's a lot to take for a man all at once. And I don't want any nervous breakdowns. There's not a single thing in the world that can make me pull out of this bed, Andrew. I'm not a vengeful person by nature, but I got to admit that I'm really looking forward to seeing the look on your face when you're up there letting the whole world know what a weasley little creep you are. Just so we're 100% clear on this, I want to lay out the terms one more time. Fine with me. If I win, you got to give a press conference wearing a shirt with my face on it where you let everyone know that I'm the superior GM. If you win, which, let's face it, it's impossible, I'll give you a press conference where I admit that I was behind all the leaks. Is that still okay with you, Gabe? Like I said, I'll let you back out now if you want. That's a whole lot of buster, bluster for someone who's supposedly so sure of himself. Are you feeling a little insecure, Andy? That's okay. It's only natural when you have as little experience as you do to wonder if you know what you're doing. Yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, so you've got more of a Dunning-Kruger thing going on. A Dunning-Water? Dunning-Kruger is a phenomenon where you're too dumb to know whether or not you're stupid, so you wind up thinking you're smart. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're even more dumber than I am. <laughs> More dumber? That's seriously what you came back with? Oh, I was being sarcastic. Duh, like anyone would tell that I wouldn't say that in all seriousness. You're playing checkers and I'm playing 7D chess. You've got a bet, Einstein. Great, I'll get the t-shirt made. This is going to be priceless. Yeah, it is, because I'm winning this damn thing. Hey, you got a minute, Gabe? Yeah, I do, Matthew. I'm going to ask you straight up because I'm a straight up kind of dude. What's going on with you and Andrew? You got some kind of beef or something? What do you mean? I heard you guys talking about some bet in the parking lot. If we lose, you gotta wear a shirt with his face on it or something. I didn't hear everything, but you guys sound like you were getting pretty heated. Is it that serious or just some GM trash talk thing? Um... I don't remember what I did in the last one. You guys have enough pressure on you as is. New team, new teammates, fragile chemistry, and you've already got a lot on the line with the whole all-star thing. I didn't want to risk you finding out and pushing too hard. I just want you guys to go out there and play your game. Besides, if I lose the best, if I lose the bet, it's my reputation put on blast. This is wild. Y'all really have a bet over this? Unfortunately, yes, but I can't back out now. I guess I understand that. Not sure that it would have been my choice, but I don't know. I still think you should tell the rest of the guys. Nope, I'm not going to, Matthew. I told the rest of the guys last time, and I got let down. I had to wear a freaking t-shirt, and then my face melted. Alright, guys, let's talk Summer League. Vegas! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are all adults, but I'm only going to say this once. If any of you winds up in TMZ in any capacity, I don't care if you're in the background shouting World Star, we're flying commercial for the rest of the season. That understood? 
What am I supposed to do with these legs? These legs can't fit in economy, Gabe. Make sure Mr. Vegas over here stays out of trouble and you won't have to worry about it. I'm just quoting a movie, Gabe. Trust me, you've got nothing to worry about. I remember my rookie orientation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad to hear it. So look, Summer League, it's going to be a little bit different this year, and I want to go over what to expect. By now, I'm sure you all know the All-Star Game situation, but just in case you've been living under a rock, we're chilling on a yacht in Ibiza. Okay. It's lit. Can we continue, please? Four's all yours, Gabe. Appreciate that, Matthew. So like I was saying, our game against the Sonics determined who, who hosts the All-Star Weekend. Now obviously it's a big deal, I'm sure you can all appreciate the gravity of the situation, but it's my job to stress to you just how important this is to our franchise. Yada, yada, yada. We know this. We know this from the last time. This has nothing to do with, I mean, we got to figure out, you know, how to beat Andrew. That's what I'm worried about. Because last time, we beat Andrew, and I still had to wear the freaking t-shirt. So I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, we have to win the Summer League. So we're going to try and do that. We're going to win the Summer League, and then we're going to freaking find out if I still have to wear the freaking t-shirt. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on another time. Coughs loudly. <coughs> yeah, I'm not telling anybody. So screw you, Del Vadova. Peace out, everybody. You fucker!